Hey everyone, it's Alana here. With all the drama that's been happening on TikTok with Selena, Haley, Justin, Kendall, and Kylie, you know damn well I had to talk about it. Now, if you would have told me in 2013 that Selena and Justin would not have gotten together, I'd be like, duh, they're extremely toxic, I know they're not endgame. But if you told me five years after his marriage to another woman, Selena would still be making Jelena drama relevant at the crisp date of February 2023, I'd be a little shocked. But not too stunned, as you will see in this video. The first thing I want to do is get the facts straight. Lay out the timeline of what happened, then I will give you my utmost honest opinion about this whole drama and give you an outlook from a psychological point of view. Make sure to watch till the end of this video because I will go into detail about how the psychology of Haley and Selena's roles and how we view them is very important to which sides we choose to take. September 28th, Hailey Bieber goes on Call Her Daddy to give her first and supposedly last interview talking about the love triangle that is Justin, Hailey, and Selena. Basically, Hailey wanted to clear up rumors that she is not a homewrecker and says that she won't speak on the past of Jelena since it doesn't really involve her, but that Justin and Selena's last reunion was more of a closure thing. Something I said in 2018 on my blog, but no one decided to believe that. So why am I bringing this interview up now? Well, because Selena's fans claim that Haley started this whole drama train happening now the moment she sat down for that interview. Now, you all know how I feel about that statement because I made a video called Let Haley Bieber Speak and it mainly had to do with the fact that we heard Selena's side of the story for the past 10 years straight. Justin went on a few interviews and spoke very briefly about his relationship with Selena, but Haley never got the chance to do that. This was literally her first time sitting down and talking about this. So this brings us to January slash February 2023. Sometime during January, Haley, Kendall Jenner, and Justine Skye posted a TikTok video with the popular sound saying, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. Selena's fans took that as shade because around that time, Selena was being mocked for her weight gain. So Selena's fans, who have no problem destroying other women's appearances for years at a time, got very, very triggered and sent Haley mass hate. Haley responded and said, I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. The drama starts to settle down for a bit, but then a month later on February 10th, Selena interacts with a TikTok video calling Haley a bitch and Selena comments, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down, be nice to everyone. Basically alluding and confirming Haley's alleged behavior. I did a video on this part, so I'll move on, but if you want to hear my thoughts in detail, go and check out my last pop culture recap video. Here is where it gets very unhinged from Selena's side. One thing you should know is that she has supported videos and accounts that bully Haley and praise Jelena. Here she is interacting with a very popular Haley hater. Then, she posts a video using a Bella Hadid filter and sound and says, I wish I was as pretty as Bella Hadid, thus making all of her fans say things like, no, you're 10 times prettier and natural. And then, for a full day, Bella got a bunch of hate because apparently she's also responsible for Selena's insecurities. It was just a lot of people bringing down Bella's looks for the sake of complimenting Selena. Bella oftentimes ignores Selena on social media, and this is not the first time she stirred up drama using Bella's appearance. Bella had this photo up when Selena commented, stunning. Drama escalated when Bella then deleted the photo. Now you may be wondering, why doesn't Bella want to interact with Selena? And I don't know, maybe it has to do with the fact that they were sort of friends and then Selena dated her man.
Anyway, Selena then commented, that sucks, when someone said that Selena was only trying to be nice and Bella didn't have to delete her post. This is why when Selena, in February 2023, talked about wishing to look like Bella and that Bella is her girl crush, it was a little awkward and bizarre. This then turns into the Laminating Eyebrows special, where Selena follows up her Bella video with a, hey, this is how I actually look, blah blah blah, I accidentally laminated my eyebrows too much. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Then, a few hours later, Kylie Jenner posts a screenshot of her and Hailey on FaceTime up close showing their eyebrows and eyes, which Kylie then posts a selfie in the same hour and says this was an accident. The theory is that Kylie is coming out with a blush or mascara and accidentally posted a FaceTime screenshot of her showing Hailey her makeup. This causes an uproar on social media, which Kylie then responded on this person's TikTok and said, This is reaching, no shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing, this is silly. So the person responds to Kylie's TikTok comment and says that she doesn't see how this drama is silly and still believes Kylie and Hailey were shading Selena. To which then Selena responded back with a red heart, basically agreeing with the TikTok user that they were shading her. But while she was doing that, in the same second, she also responded to Kylie saying, Agreed, at Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. So you agree with the TikToker saying she doesn't believe Kylie, and you also agree with Kylie? To me, it seems a bit instigating because you are pushing the narrative that you're being shaded and encouraging fans to continue with this hate, seeing that they have your support, but you're also covering all tracks by telling Kylie you agree with her. Well, I think in Italian that means a sneaky brown noser with a hidden agenda. <laughs> then, after telling Kylie she agrees that the drama is silly and unnecessary, she comments, I love you, on a TikTok calling Haley and Kylie mean girls, bitches, despicable nepple babies, and how she's now a Selenator because she hates them so much. What? I wish I was joking, but here, see the TikTok for yourself. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had much of an opinion of Selena Gomez. However, now, with these mean girls coming at her throat, disgusting, despicable behavior from the Nepo babies, like, it makes me want to vomit. I am now the biggest Selenator, Selenator to ever exist. Selena Gomez, you're done. And now you're gonna go with them, you're shit, I'm following all your accounts, girl. I love you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, this is like traumatizing these bitches. Okay, I hate mean girls, I hate them. Just come out of the closet already, Kylie. We get it. You're struggling. Just come out of the fucking closet. Speaking of TikTok, we are now officially on the platform. Go follow us there because we have been putting out a content. Now back to regular programming. I love you. Wow. Selena, how are you going to play both sides? It's either the drama is silly and there's nothing but respect, or you think you're being bullied by these two girls who, mind you, haven't said anything else. Then she tries to cover her tracks one more time by interacting with a TikTok video that mentions all the nasty comments Haley has been getting and that this drama has gone overboard. Why can't we all just focus on our own humanly lives and leave everybody alone? Like, I was looking through Haley's comments and her comments are disgusting. Like She says, now please hold your laugh, she says, facts. Girl, what facts? You just told some girl calling Haley and Kylie despicable nepple babies that you love her. She'll cry facts and stop the hate, but in the same hour, she'll support TikTok accounts dragging Kylie and Haley through the mud. And the worst part is, she's not just liking them, she's physically showing proof by commenting. Then, yes, there is more. She follows an account right after this person posted a video reporting Hailey Bieber's account in honor of Selena Gomez. The TikTok video played Mariah Carey's song Obsessed and he reported Hailey's account for impersonating Selena. Then, she comments on a TikTok video made by a Hailey hate account that calls her a duck and misgenders her by calling Hailey a him. 
The bio says, Duckman was always a stalker, but he has a strange obsession with being Selena Gomez. And you'll never guess what the TikTok is about. It's actually comical, this whole thing. <laughs> With, with Selena comments on a video that shows a skit of Haley on the show Drop the Mic that she was hosting. And when Taylor Swift's name gets mentioned, Haley does this gagging motion. Full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> now, before I tell you what our fave Selena said, I want to give some context to this video. One, it's from like seven years ago or something in 2016. Two, the show is an entire skit where celebrities come and roast other celebrities by writing diss tracks, so the majority of it is just parody and trolling. The point of the show is that you want to see these celebrities in a different way, and you want to see them kind of having fun, and who's going to throw what digs out there, and who's going to say what. That's what I think makes the show so fun, is that you get to see these people in such a different way. It's Nicole Richie, a blast from the past. Her claim to fame was kissing Paris Hilton's ass. Three, if Haley during the time wasn't Taylor's biggest fan, that's fine because Haley was really close to Justin and Taylor multiple times has shaded him for the sake of Selena. <laughs> fine by me! <laughs> Here we have the infamous Taylor gag at the 2013 Billboard Awards when Selena was hugging Justin and then you have Taylor shading him that same night when he won the Milestone Award. What, do you, what are your thoughts on Justin winning the Milestone Award so young? Can we have another question? <laughs> the reporter said, what do you think of Justin Bieber winning the Milestone Award? Cause you know around this time, Taylor and Justin seemed to be friends. And she just said, can we have another question? Once again, all of the out of pocket proof that has been dug up on Haley has context, every single one of them. So she could either be shading Taylor for the sake of her friend Justin, just like Taylor shades Justin for the sake of Selena, or this whole thing was a skit because they were on a parody show. Action. What's good, YouTube? Oh, I'm sorry, that was her. <laughs> I was like, reset it, Paul. It's gonna get personal. I think that's supposed to be him now. Drop huh? the mic on TBS, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get really personal. <laughs> anyway, they also say it's scripted. So who knows what's real? Now that we have the context for the video, let's just jump into what Selena says. So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Um, let me check my notes here. Hmm. Oh yes. Here we have Selena on her 87th Haley TikTok hate account defending... Hmm... Taylor Swift, who probably isn't answering Selena's phone calls. Let's be honest, Taylor and Selena have not been the best friends they want you to think they are. Let me know if you guys want me to make a documentary styled video about why Selena and Taylor are no longer besties, but they're not gonna tell you that because they don't wanna break the internet's heart. But why now try and drag Taylor into this? Her fans are not gonna wanna support your manic episode on Haley. I don't think they fully care. I don't think Taylor is interested in being a part of your hate parade either. I mean, how did she even find this video from an account with 200 followers and two, yes, two posts only? I mean, she has to have been digging pretty deep for it. And then some of you guys wonder why Taylor takes a step back. On top of all this hate, she posts an old photo from 2018 and says, I deleted this one time because I thought maybe it was too much, but eh. <laughs> she honestly cracks me up because she's posting a bad B photo on Instagram, which I get the hustle if you were being attacked, but I don't get it if you're doing the attacking. And she knows how much people love these photos, so I feel like she's doing it in hopes of them thinking, oh, she's a queen, we stan, while letting her hate comments slide and not have any consequences. Also, it gets so much worse because this TikTok account basically starts off her video saying, does anyone feel really bad for Selena Gomez? Can you imagine going through a breakup so publicly for a guy you were in love with for seven years and two months later, he marries someone else? What? And Selena comments, that made me cry, thank you, girl. Does anybody just ever feel like really bad for Selena Gomez? Like, can you imagine going through a breakup 
so publicly with a guy that you were in love with for like seven years and then like two months later you just like marry someone and then you have like a chronic illness or an autoimmune disease sorry i don't know too much about lupus but i can't imagine that it's fun and living with that and the flare-ups and just having to live with it within the public eye while people are watching you and then dealing with mental health when life is hard enough already honestly like kudos to her for being so brave and so public and just like kudos to her for what Dealing with mental health in the public? I'm sorry, the bare minimum is what? Why are we applauding someone and excusing their creepy behavior because they struggle with mental health, sad face, get a grip? Everyone struggles with something, yet nobody is getting a pat on the back for it like Selena Gomez. Haley literally suffered a stroke and has an ovarian cyst the size of an apple. Justin Bieber has Lyme disease and literally was going through face paralysis. Miley Cyrus was with a guy for 10 years just for it to end in divorce. Demi Lovato almost married a homeless stalker obsessed with her ex-best friend and got humiliated in public. Gigi Hadid's baby daddy Zayn Malik was in a very intense verbal fight with her mother that was almost physical and led to them breaking up. Bella Hadid wakes up every day and has to tell herself nobody hates her every morning. You are loved, you are loved, Bella. Not everyone hates you. Enough. Enough with this weird pat on the back you weirdos give Selena for the bare minimum. Enough supplying her with enough rope. She needs a wake-up call, so all of her fans and supporters need to realize the more you cheer for Selena to talk about Justin and her experiences, the worse she gets. Take the toxic positivity out of your app. And so whenever I think about a hard day, I think about Selena Gomez, which is, I feel bad saying that, but I'm like, if she can do it, Everybody can. Every day I'm having a bad day, I think of Selena Gomez. Why? Is she homeless? Is she out in war fighting for you? Did someone shoot her mother? You think of her when you're having a bad day because she went through a breakup that she is responsible for? It takes two to tango, and these two tried to tango too many times and failed too many times. They're both responsible for why it went up into flames, and when something fails that many times, you gotta look into the internal factors. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? Then, take a shot every time I say then, Selena announces a mental health break from social media. Yeah. Because this behavior is very worrisome, and I do hope she actually takes a real break, since she seems to be so emotionally bothered by this. Like, I think she screams in the middle of the night. She says, I'm going to be taking a second from social media, because this is a little silly, and I'm 30. I'm too old for this. Even a 22-year-old should be old enough not to do this. Don't use 30 as a startup age. But right before she logs off, she needs to dig a final nail in Haley's coffin and comments on yet another Haley TikTok account defending Selena for defending Taylor. And says, I'm getting off social media. I have every right to defend my friends. Say whatever you want about me, but my people, I die for. Thanks so much. Oh no, not the martyr act. Say whatever you want about me, but not my people. Selena, you're not fighting in the civil war. Relax with the martyr victim act. This whole week has been you sending hate to five different girls under the premises of self-defense. Don't come up here and get crucified on the cross for the sake of Taylor when you're just using her to cover up the 75 hate comments you just spewed onto five other girls. Nothing's going on in my life. I don't have any drama. Should I make some drama? <laughs> then, she comments on a TikTok video about losing someone. The video says, Pav, me after losing the one person I thought I was never gonna lose. And she says, but suddenly I remember I can do better and yeah, lol. Um, so do better? Why are you threatening us with a good time? It's been five years. Go on and do this so-called better you speak of. Also, her thinking she was never going to lose Justin is something I also said in 2018. If you want to check out the inside scoop, it's on my blog, ExposingSMG.com. But if you're just here for public facts, that's also cool. So after Selena tells us three times that she's taking a break from social media, once on the live, then on the Instagram photo where she adds that she's taking a break, and once on the Haley hate video, she, after three days, drum roll please, comes back and posts a video of her friend who's getting married to some viner. Before I continue with my psychological analysis, what do you guys think about all of this? 
I genuinely want to read your comments because I'm trying to see other opinions and ways people actually think Selena's in the right. Which also leads me to question, are you team Selena or team Haley? I think the reason why Selena has this many defenders, and as Twitter likes to call them, shooters, is because they are only interested in Selena when it comes to Justin drama. I mean, all of this public support, like it's literally massive, yet her music, albums, movies, even documentary makes no noise. All these supporters, yet it doesn't correlate with her plummeting stats. All these millions of followers on Instagram, more than Beyonce and Taylor, but yet where's the support for her music that flops, or her movies that you probably never heard of. Or her heartbreaking documentary, which no one talked about for more than five days, and even then, it was about the Justin parts. People support Selena because they think she's this relatable girl who raised us on Disney Channel with Wizards of Waverly Place and got her heart broken by some douche teenbag heartthrob Justin Bieber, who then got stolen by some lowlife. That's it. It's nostalgia and drama that has the people's hearts, not Selena the victim. And you can't be stolen if you were never taken from the start. Selena has made it very clear to Justin for seven years straight that she was single, and any time they met up was to work things out, which never made any progress in their relationship. The bottom line is, they didn't get back together. I'm single! Maybe 2017, 2018 was an exception, but even that seemed like a closure move on its own. I think people support Selena's very concerning antics because they assume the norm was Jelena and only Jelena. They were endgame and they have chemistry like no other. But what nobody realizes is that they were incredibly toxic and Selena kept pushing him away until he was fully gone and didn't care anymore. That's why Justin got married to another girl, not because Haley had some magical powers and brainwashed him. I remember last time you were here, there was you were with uh, Justin Bieber, uh, and and is that th that's not going on now? No, I'm you're single. Fine. Yeah, you're, you're fine. I'm I think, so good. Good, yeah, I think you're fine. <laughs> now, the last time he was on, uh, he and I got into a conversation, and I he said something, and then I said something, and then he said something, and I said something, <laughs> and I made him cry. <laughs> well, then that makes two of us. <laughs> I mean, if we look at Jelena's past, tell me you would want to stay. We have the fight outside Selena's house in 2012 where she gives him the middle finger and kicks him out. Then Selena laughing at him for being heartbroken. Then the Shade Olympics and the Getting Back Together Olympics. Then the Sophia Ritchie drama where Justin calls Selena attention seeking. And so much more. You're telling me you'd want to stay too? Now here is why I think after all of this toxic behavior from Selena, people will still hate Haley. To us, Haley is not a real celebrity. I mean, how could she be? We only knew who she was when Justin was in the picture. So to us, we were all introduced to Haley by Justin. This means that Haley doesn't have her own fan base. She didn't have her own show or music career. She didn't raise us on Disney Channel. And when we think of nostalgia, we think of the good old days of 2011 or 2012. We don't think of Haley Baldwin. And because people don't view Haley as her own person or brand, they will call her names like a stalker and wifey and say she wants to be just like Selena. Because in their mind, Selena had it all. She had the fans, the TV show, the Grammy red carpets, which she was Justin's plus one for, by the way, and the man. I also feel like there is some weird competition between Haley and the girls who hate her. Because if she was just a fan who worked her way up to be a Bieber, it makes a lot of other girls hate the fact that they didn't do the same thing either with Justin or some other crush they had in real life. You wouldn't hate Haley if you also got the man of your dreams, no matter how weirdly things worked out for you two. They're envious that she actually did it, and that's why so many of them will reference Haley as the mean girl they all know in school. Because the so-called high school mean girl could do something that they didn't know how to do. Be in the popular clique, have the easygoing life, get the jock. That's why relatable Selena, who cries about her weight and looks, seems so much more easier to support than Hailey Bieber, who we didn't know existed until she had a crush on Justin and he surprisingly crushed back. 
That's not the norm for us. Jelena from 2010 was supposed to be endgame, and because it's not, Haley is to blame. That can easily be correlated with someone's real life where the so-called bitchy girl wins in life and you sit on the internet crying about it. With these mean girls coming at her fucking throat? Mean girls, mean girls, mean girls. Don't get me wrong, Haley for sure had a crush on Justin and was a bit obvious with it, but she didn't break Jelena up. That was all Selena and occasionally Justin. She's not to blame for Selena's self-sabotaging behavior, and she's not to blame for Justin's stupidity and impulsiveness. She saw an opportunity with a guy she fell in love with and simply took it. She wouldn't be able to take the opportunity if the guy didn't want it as well. Some say Selena wrote out the story for them because if she wasn't so busy pushing him away into another girl's arms practically, he would have stayed with her. If he was this horrible partner, we would have seen it with Haley, but instead he's something I never thought he would be, and that's unproblematic. My honest opinion? Selena ruined Jelena, and Justin added the cherries on top. Haley wasn't making anyone do something they didn't want to do. Anyway, this video got long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of deep dive into the different roles of Selena and Haley. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this whole thing. Make sure to follow us on our social media. We are now officially on TikTok. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.